Meet sailing yacht Avanti and her crew, Gerard and Jacqueline. We left Cape Town in December 2021 on our floating home, heading west on an adventure of a lifetime around the world. Welcome to Tana. We've sailed here to see a volcano that has been continuously erupting for decades. We're on our way to climb or to go to Mount Yasur, the volcano, the active volcano here on the island. So it's about a 40 minute pickup ride and we're about to meet the guide. The journey to the volcano can only be done by pickup as there are no fancy roads here. The driver told us that he recently bought his pickup for 4 million Vatu and that it would take him three years of driving the route to town or the volcano every day to be able to pay it off. The villagers are mainly farmers with some teachers for the many children. There are different religions practiced here, for example Scottish Presbyterian and Seven Day Adventist. The village closest to Port Resolution did not have a boat and many try fishing with a simple line tied to a long stick from the beach. A local fisherman told us that they look to nature to tell them when they've had taken enough. For example, if they see an octopus, it's time to go home, no matter if they caught anything that day. Mostly living off the land for vegetables, this volcanic soil is extremely fertile and the vegetables grow well when they have a fence keeping the free roaming pigs and chickens away. The islanders of Vanuatu suffered major devastation with Hurricane Pam that flattened the islands in 2015. Locals told stories of the time that there was not one leaf left of any of the trees in the area. Wind speeds generated by this Category 5 tropical cyclone reached 250 km an hour, gusting up to 320 in the capital Port Vila. 50% of the houses on this island was destroyed. Yet the people seem so happy with so little, and it just makes me think maybe the more things we have, the more trouble seems to follow. There wasn't a person we passed that didn't greet us, or children running past to wave us as we walked around. As we got close to the volcano, we could see the smoke bellowing out of the crater. Once at the rim of the crater, we could hear and feel the rumbles and see some activity down below. It was a very windy day and it was freezing cold. Since we were on the windward side of the volcano, you felt none of the heat and my two jackets barely kept me warm. Health and safety? Nothing like that in a third world country as you could walk right up to the edge making me more nervous because there's no way you'll survive falling in. Mount Yasur erupts every three minutes on average and releases 1,330 tons of CO2 into the atmosphere daily. Although they say it has been more active in the last three years, it's only really been closely monitored the last eight. The locals that grew up here say they don't agree. Growing up, the volcano was a lot more active 30 years ago than it is now. As the sun sets, the glow of the molten lava gets way more visible down below, and every eruption is a spectacular show.
What an unbelievable experience, really living up to its reputation of being the world's best volcano for a close-up experience. Today I'm tasting one of the, probably the only local brewed beer in Vanuatu. It's called the Tusca and the logo is a pig with big tusks, so I guess that's where the Tusca comes from. It's a lager beer and it's been brewed here since 1990, so only 30 odd years old. Um, it's a 330 ml bottle and it's got 5% alcohol. The cost of these at the Port Resolution Yacht Club, which is the only place you can really buy them except for the town, is extremely high. It's 500 uh, vatus, um, so we'll give you the price comparison in the description but yeah quite expensive but it is a very exotic location it's a must say it's a nice and bitter lager not as bitter as the Fiji bitter but a little bit more than the Fiji gold so as you might know I like the more bitter lagers so in terms of taste cost and size, I would rate this one uh, maybe seven and a half out of ten, maybe a little bit more. But unfortunately, the cost is really high. So yeah, cheers. This morning we're saying goodbye to some of our Dutch friends that we met in Fakarava that's been sailing on close to us since uh, French Polynesia's Fakarava and we leave, they're leaving Vanuatu this morning or just going to another island but they won't be going to Australia and we got some fresh veg from them um, because we can't get any here before we leave for Oz so this will help our 10 day passage a lot and in exchange we just gave them like a solar shower bag that you can hang up and it hits in the sun and you can take at least a shower with some some shower nozzle and some pressure. Cruisers are just the best community. Um, well, the guys in the bay have heard that we wanted to go to town to get veggies on Monday, but now we have to be here to clear out. So we can't actually get fresh veg before we leave for Australia. And because people have been hearing that, they've been bringing us bits and bobs um, with the, because they're not traveling further. So, oh, they're not traveling as far as us. They're going to towns and stuff next. So they know they'll get fresh stuff while we'll be at sea for 10 to 12 days. So we just got an, a little pumpkin to um, the communities are really just awesome. Leafy, come and have a look at the mess outside. Mount Yasur has ashed on Avanti. The whole boat is covered with volcanic ash. Oh. <laughs> Completely. It's like the whole deck is black. All the lines, everything. So a big cleanup today. It's in everything, the lines, the little crevices, if we open a hatch, everything has got this black soot on it. To spend the last of our vatu, we go to the only restaurant in the village. The lady serves one dish a day and today was beef stir fry, rice and salad. I think you can see how windy it is. Just finished our Sunday lunch. Um, church has just about come out so around one o'clock. They started at one. No, they started, they came out at one. They started around eight. So, long day. <laughs> Beautiful Sunday. Our weather window to leave Vanuatu for Australia came a little bit quicker than expected. So, our time was cut short and it's time to continue our journey west. 
our radar dome because it's on a gimbal knocks against the stainless steel structure um, so it's not ideal especially if you are on a port tack which we will be most of the way to Australia so we used to have a pool noodle on there for the Atlantic crossing but it's weared off or a piece of a pool noodle so I've put back one I've put one back on and I just need to put some extra cable ties to make sure it doesn't go anywhere and that uh, softens the blow when it hits the the side as a cushion and the noise is much less Ready to go? Yes, we've prepped everything as far as we can, and we're about to lift the anchor in Port Resolution on the way to Cairns, Australia, and it's going to be 1,300, close to 1,400 nautical miles. So, if all goes well, the wind looks quite strong, it will take us about 10 days. So yeah, we're quite nervous because we haven't done a long crossing and the weather looks quite heavy. So yeah, I um, hope all goes well. We're about to leave. I'm so excited. The other side, once we reach Australia, is my brother and uh, my nephew um, and a new nephew I haven't met before. So I really just want to get there now. I'm so excited that we're finally heading to Australian waters. Let's hope we get there safely first, but I'm really excited. Next week, we'll take on an interesting and sporty passage through the last of the Pacific and into the Coral Sea. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Commenting and subscribing also goes a long way to help us. We are really grateful for our Patreons who support the making of these videos monthly. If you'd like to join them, please click on the link in the description below.